Let's set the guys and pace be upon this morning. So in this video, we are going to handle GRE1 configuration. GRE stands for generic routing encapsulation. This is a type uh, a type of wide area network technologies that is implemented to create a tunnel between two sites. So for example, let's say site A wants to communicate to site B. Okay? and they are not directly connected let's say they are connected over isp route so the traffic must pass from uh, must go from site a to isp router then to site b but we don't know what will happen here we don't know what will happen here with our packets whether they will be read or maybe we hijacked so what we do we create a tunnel a secure tunnel between these two sites so that our traffic can be encapsulated okay all right so i'll just let you know that today we're in number 23 which is the second last topic under routing technologies right okay? all right so gre generic router encapsulation which is a type of one technologies that is used to create a channel between two sites so that all the data that is passing from one side to another passes through that secure tunnel okay all right so without any further ado i'll open our, our notepad to let the step that we're going to follow to achieve this objective so the first step is always to uh, draw the necessary topology decorate and comment so uh, basically i will finish drawing this topology remember for all of these one technologies all of these wide area network technologies we should always use a uh, serial connection so for example from set a to set uh, to isp serial cable isp to set b serial cable so uh, when i try to connect a serial cable here let's choose serial with dc and i click here you can see there are no serial port so what we need to do is to add a serial port so add serial ports on this router so how do we do it we do it very very fast of time we just click on the router under physical tab, uh, close the router, I mean shut down the router and drag this, uh, that, that module here and turn on the router again. Do the same for the remaining two routers. Alright, so that's done. So we can proceed to connect serial connection between set A to ISP and ISP to set B. So in that case, we just do automatic, very, very fast. Okay, alright. So after doing automatic, we have already uh, achieved connection uh, using serial cable between the two sets and the ISP. Okay. All right. So basically what we want to do, we want to create a tunnel between set A and set B such that every traffic passes through that tunnel and cannot be intercepted by ISP bad guys. Okay. So I'm just going to draw something here and say that there's a tunnel. the second thing that we do as per the notepad we configure IP address to the routers and computers so basically uh, what I've done is to configure uh, I previously configured IP address to the computers and the connecting routers interface so I've just configured IP address from here to that place only and here uh, from there to the two computers okay I've configured the IP address to this interface uh, gig00 and you can see uh, the IP address is 20.1 as per this network. Also on this side also 10.1 as per this network. So I've not configured IP address between these routers. So what I'm going to do is to configure IP address to between this site A and ISP and ISP and site B. So that's very very simple. I just go to uh, gig 0030 and uh, we just say uh, enable uh, config T. So serial, uh, sorry, interface, interface serial uh, 3030, then no shut because it's always shut down state, okay. Then we send IP address, IP address to be 20.20.20.2. Let the ISP take the first IP address, okay. All right. So uh, the separate mask is 255.255.255.255. .255 .255 .255 okay good exit 
So we go to ISP or else let's configure this one to be 3030.2 so that ISP will take 2021 and 3031 on this side, okay? All right, so this is uh -huh. the same. So I do it very, very fast, save time because I've shown you how to do it. All right, so I've done IP addressing on the routers interface that I didn't do previously. So you can see uh, the 0030 and 0031. As I've taken those IP addresses, okay? All right, so uh, the second point is to, at uh, the third point is to configure our SPF and test communication. So we're going to configure SPF here, here, and here to advertise the directly connected networks, okay? All right, so let's start here. And... Uh, in this case, uh, router or SPF, let's say use a process ID of uh, 15 today, okay? Then the router ID will be router ID to be, uh, let's say 1.2.3.1, uh, uh, okay? All right, then the network is, uh, the first network is 20.20.20.0, or the wildcard mask of 0 .0 0.0.0.3 area 0. Another network is a uh, 1.2.168.10.0 Wildcard mask of 0 0.0.0.255 Area 0 Good So we do the same For these For these other uh, routers And test communication So before that Let's implement the SPF here Okay, so as you can see, uh, there are form neighbors. We have configured SPF, and you can see there are form neighbors, okay, or the two neighbors, right? Okay, so what I'm gonna do, uh, let's check on the task, I mean, notepad again. Now we're going to configure GRE. So the, uh, the final step is to configure GRE. So how do we configure GRE? GRE. So we said that we create tunnel. So we're going to create tunnel in our uh, interface. Uh, both on site A router and site B router. So we're going to do, I'm just going to uh, site A router. Uh -huh. Then we say enable config T. Then we say interface tunnel any number. Let's say tunnel 2, okay? Right? So interface tunnel 2 because we want to configure GRE, okay? Then we want that tunnel to use this IP address, okay? So we can just say IP add to be a uh, 102.168.10.8. It cannot be that way. It cannot be similar to that one. So you can see this is 10.0 and this one also 10.0. So let's make it uh, uh, 100, okay? Yes. So we just say 100 dot uh, five the separate mask of two five five dot two five five dot two five five dot zero and we enter then we say when i try to query you can see we have how many options uh almost six options so what i'm gonna do i'm just say is tunnel uh source so the tunnel source should be the p address of this interface or that interface name okay so i can just say so to be serial zero slash three slash zero and i hit it or the ip address of serial that one okay then the destination we just say destination tunnel destination sorry tunnel destination to be the ip address of this interface serial zero slash zero this is the target okay so we say IP address of this interface. So that interface is, uh, it, it has an IP address, you can see it's 30, 30, 30, 2. So we just say 30.30.30.2. And we hit enter. And that's all. And that's all what we do on this side. Just say do right. So when you go on this side also, when you go on this side also, we do the same. Enable. Config T. 
so what do we do now we say interface tunnel we create a tunnel to the number two because we create number two on this head just let's do it uh, similarly okay all right so what we do here we are sending ip address ip add to be one two dot one six eight dot one hundred dot oh sorry one hundred even dot ten so long as it's within this range okay all right so seven bars of two five five dot two five five dot two five five dot zero and we hit enter then tunnel source tunnel source to be this interface or its ip address just say serial serial zero slash three dot zero okay then tunnel tunnel destination to be the ip address of this interface this is the target now the destination from this one is this one okay so the destination is consists 20 20 22 so we just say 20.20.20.2 and we hit enter exit and do right so that's all and if you can just say do show per interface tunnel 2 you can see a lot of information here internet address address is that one okay and um, if we can just see a uh, tunnel source is this one destination is this one and the protocol use is gre over ip okay all right even if i can just go to this router here and say uh and and I say um, show IP interfaces brief. So you can see we have a tunnel here, okay? That is up, okay? And you can just say sh uh, show interface tunnel tunnel two. You can see there are a lot of information here. IP address is here and they are also here okay all right uh, and uh, do show start you can see everything is here okay all right so i uh, believe this video is really helping now to configure gre which is a type of one uh technique okay so i'll mark that video as done very very simple on how to configure grc gre so just make sure you create the tunnel and uh, sign uh, after uh, creating this tunnel assign it ip address and uh, give the source and the destination you can use ip address instead of this interface in, in case it doesn't work okay all right so please subscribe to this channel like this video I'll share with friends and let's see you again in the last part which is IPsec VPN before we enter into uh, these topics. Bye and see you again. Thank you.